garage day people and once again look shorts and a t-shirt it's like 70 today guys unbelievable we're gonna get these tires off in a later video and we're taking off the heated grips we got a couple little minor things to do to this thing nothing major we got to replace lower ball joint i noticed while cleaning it yesterday got some play so we need to replace that we're going to do both lowers so we don't have an accident because that can be a bad day we're putting the stock grips back on because uh the way the weather's going i think it's done we're done with with cold weather um and that's pretty much it all the studs stayed in uh you guys can see believe it or not we missed a we we got a couple missing in the front which there's another one another actually quite a few in the front missing but that's not bad we got plenty of extras so we'll set these aside i don't think we're going to be using them anymore this year um check out what came today in the mail huge thanks to gbc green ball Kanadi tires these are for the stock wheels we're going to use these to tow Kanadi trail hog ats these things are really sweet very very sweet tire i'm definitely excited to use these i'm hoping they last a while we will see but definitely they will be better than what we have on there now so like i said back in the garage getting the engine build finished up so i'm not sure we'll get it done today but what we're going to do today is get the engine covers all put back together Throw the stator in this flywheel cover and then take care of the water pump assembly there's a couple bearings that gotta go in that a couple seals so that's the plan for today we're gonna get the both side cases buttoned up and then we'll see how we are on time we do have everything guys we have the head all done up all freshened up even the throttle body came back all cleaned up board you guys can see freaking shiny brand new clutch basket jls motorsports clear oil cover um new head bolts the timing chain guide we got everything so we'll start with the engine covers and uh, if we have time we will start with the top end but we may just save that for tomorrow so let's get going So we will start with the flywheel cover so we can drop this stator in Let's see if I remember how this goes together oh. I'm gonna say it goes like that number one just like that this goes like this We got this little thing that goes on here like that. There we go. All right, so that's that. So I'm going to just put a little bit of Loctite on these, not too much, just a little bit. Tighten them up. We will have uh, another batch of powder coated parts coming in this week. They ship today, so excited about that. Thinking by uh, probably next week we will start the new quad. The only bad thing, guys, you won't be able to see it until it's done. So no videos of it will be up until it's complete. Alright, so that's pretty much it for that. 
So we have this guy that has to go in here. That's the right, is that the right one? <sighs> Alright, then we got a Washer that goes over that. Washer and a circlet. We do have a new circlet. Right here. Gotta go down more. That looks better. So the washer, circlip. Oh, that's not the. Uh, that's not the right circlip. I know we have it. Oh, I see it. I got it over here. This one. Parts are everywhere, so we're a little disorganized. Definitely apologize for that, guys. But this is all going to be touching for the next few days, so things will slowly start to come back together. Alright, so that's in. You guys can see right there. So now we're going to work on the water pump bearing and seal. So we can do the mechanical seal first. Alright, so we got it all set up on the old press. Good. You guys can see that's in there. So you want to press it from the center, guys. Don't press it from that outer race. I've actually ruined it doing like that years ago. So press it from that center metal piece, not this rubber. Don't touch that. You want to hit that metal collar on the inside. All right, so we've got the seal first. Alright, and then we got the bearing. Now we got the new seal for that. It just pops in there. Make sure it's nice and flat. All 
And then it's just a matter of pushing this down and popping a circlip on it. Just like that. And we have that right here. You just want to push on this for that spring and then you can get the circlip on there. Right there. Make sure you guys check it. Yep, that's good. Alright, so the case covers are done. So we will start with the flywheel side and then we'll spin it around and we'll do the clutch side. All right, so we got our pins. We're going to put a little bit of oil on them. You can use oil or never see. It's just if you got to take these out again, they come right out fairly easy instead of seizing up in there. All right, we got a fresh Comedic gasket. Huge thanks to those guys provided me with the full kit. It's a great kit, guys. Comes with everything. Every seal, every O-ring, and every gasket. All right, we got a couple gears we gotta throw in here. So we got this guy, and then we got this guy. We also have a nice brand new OEM starter. All right, so we can get the cover now. We got all brand new bolts also. The only thing we are missing is a new, the new rubber bracket for that. So we're going to, we're going to get one of those eventually. I do have this one. I should probably put that in now before I, I have to uh, take apart. We got this one right here, guys. So that guy is for right here, like so. We'll put that one in. Now we can get all our bolts over here. I'm gonna just leave these two loose. Actually, no, I'll, I mean, I will tighten them up. All right, so we got a uh, short one, short one. I think that's a long, no, that's a short one too. I'm not even sure. Uh, these are a long or short, I'm not even sure. I think these are all the shorter ones. Let me have these mixed up, guys. Let me just see. No, oh, those are them. So this one had, I think the four long ones on the bottom. One, two, three. That's a short one. Need that guy. Sizes. I don't know what what's what. And that one goes there. Looks good. This one just gets a dummy bolt. That was for the old crankcase breather setup, the stock one. But we don't use that, so we don't need that. We just put the put a bolt in there just to fill the hole. We got 
Bring one over here. And just check. So we got these that go in here. One, two, and three. All right, so I think I got all the bolts. We have new ones for the oil cover that JLS includes Looks like the one. The old dipstick back in. All right, let's uh, let's pop the JLS oil cover in. Check it out, guys. <coughs> so the only thing that is different. I don't see where the line is, but I'm guessing it's like right around there. I'll have to just check with him. So we need a gasket. We also have one dowel that goes in here, right there. Matic has that one too, of course. Looks like right there. All right, so this has bolts with it. So this is the large cover, guys. Trying something new. He sent me this one to try out. Usually I get the mediums, but I figured I'd give this one a, a try. I think this one holds uh, 200 more milliliters of oil. I'll have to see how it does. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh boy. Alright, so I get that on there. I'm not sure. This thing sticks out really, really far. We may, we'll keep this for now, but we may switch it out to a medium one. We'll have to see when it's in the quad. This thing hangs out really, really far, guys. Oh. Does look sweet though, have to say that. I'm gonna tighten it up. So we have new plugs coming, but we will put these in here for now, just so nothing falls into these holes. These are the GYTR ones, guys. These are the best ones around. Highly recommend these. They don't strip out. They look friggin' awesome. They're aluminum. We've got a couple new ones coming. 
So we'll leave that like that. All right, so this side is done. So we will spin it around and we'll start the, uh, we'll get the clutch side cover done. All right, so first we will get our dowels in. I got two. One on the bottom, one at the top. Alright, that one's in. Oh, two of the ones I forgot, so. And then don't forget this thing, guys, for the water. Part of the uh, water pump system, cooling system. That goes there with the O ring. All right, so we can, uh, we got to put the shift shaft in. And then we need the oil pump idler gear. We had one, guys, just had to go in the house. We got half our parts out here and the other half's in the house so I knew I ordered one I always try to keep a couple of these hanging around usually when I order them I order two at a time just in case all right make sure that's good that's good all right I'll throw the gasket on there And now we can pop the cover on. Now what you want to do with this cover is when you're putting it on, you want to kind of spin the impeller because the impeller, you can see that is uh, slotted on both sides and it fits in here to spin. So you got to just line that up when you're putting this on. You get it in there, right there. Make sure this engages. Yeah, you see how I got the gear spinning, so you know that's good. All right, I'm gonna get some bolts and bolt it up. All right, so we're gonna have to get I didn't order these bolts new and I don't have any oil filters so That will hold off on for now, but we can do the impeller cover We have a nice new gasket Right there Unfortunately the pins are still on the cover so we can just pop that on like that So we need a long, oh, I think we need two long bolts, so that's one. I think we need this guy, that's one. Um, is this a long one? I think that's a long one too. Nope, that's just one long one. I think this is like that. And like that but this one guys uh, this one gets a copper washer so don't forget to put that on there that comedic kit comes with all of those you need which is nice this is a shorter one Guy right here. No, it's not that one. Should 
be this one. That's good. So we will change that one out to a new one along with these three. I need those. And I think I'm going to have to get all these as well. I don't think I ordered those. So not a big deal. All right, so we do have some clutch components we can put back in. First is the push rod. Then the little ball. And then that. That looks good. We can take this out for now. We do have a brand new basket. Nothing fancy, just 2009. These are the best ones. All right, so we can pop this in. And that's in. All right, so we can go ahead and get our we will put the recluse basket in now, but we'll do a, uh, we'll probably just do a separate video on that later. washer the old bolt Bend this tab up. I'll try to bend it up. These are sometimes a pain. I tried to bend it up a little bit before. There we go. We got it. All right, now we can stick a little push washer in there. Oh, we will have to get a... Actually, I may have these pins. I'm not sure if these are them or not. Yep, so I have these. Two new ones on that. Of course, we got... Fresh comedic clutch covered gasket. And just for now, we will just so nothing gets in here, we'll just pop this on here for now. Put a couple of bolts in it. I have some of these bolts. Not all of them. I have to get all these bolts. These are wrong. This one is good. No, that one's. I don't think that one's right either. I like these two. I think it's the next one. Yeah. So we'll just leave those three on there for now. That's fine. We'll order the rest. 
All right, we also have a nice, shiny, brand new starter. We can pop that in, and I think that'll be it for today. I think we'll save the top end. We'll do the top end tomorrow, and uh, the top end, and maybe the clutch, or just the top end. So check that out, guys. Nice, shiny starter. I will have to get a couple new bolts for this because all I have is the old ones. But we'll just put them... Uh, I'm not even going to put the bolts in that for now. I'll get new ones. Actually, I'll put two in it. Just so I know. Just go like that. And that'll be it. All right, guys, that's a wrap for today. We got both side covers completed. We will get the rest of the miscellaneous parts ordered. We do need this bracket, and then we need some a uh, couple of miscellaneous bolts for the clutch cover. We're gonna need those bolts, um, but that's pretty much it. So we will need two bolts for the starter. Those two right there. Those two are gonna get new. Um, I should have these somewhere. I gotta find them. The plug for that. Um, and that should be it. Uh, we do have a brand new shift lever. Obviously brand new sprocket. We could probably put that on when we do the top end. So tomorrow we're going to do the top end. We should be able to button that right up. Should be nice and quick. Uh, just trying to keep these videos short. So uh, you guys don't get bored. Um, but you guys know the deal. If you're not yet, please subscribe. Smash that like button. And uh, any questions, shoot me a comment. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.